Uh, hi guys, uh, welcome to the LiveWire series. Um, okay, in this series we were actually just trying to understand the LiveWire. Uh, it's uh, life cycle, its bindings, how it works and how it can be useful for our Laravel projects. Uh, so we have already built uh, all of these components here. Um, if you haven't checked my previous video, I would highly recommend to check the previous live video so that you can really understand the basic concepts here. If you already did this, welcome. Uh, so, well, so in this video, we'll just go on and uh, try to build this reset password functionality. So uh, as you can see, like we have this uh, server side validation here. And um, also once our password is same, so it was actually, uh, we'll be able to update the password and uh, yeah, and that's it. Okay, let's check this, how we can build this. Okay, we will remove this uh, this whole co uh, this whole library component here and we'll build the uh, recent password functionality here. And let's go ahead and start. Okay, so first of all, uh, we'll just clean up some things here. Just remove this component from here, we don't need this now. And we'll go ahead and create our new component. we need to make at the make our make reset password so reset password is created let's go ahead and render our by by reset password okay and uh, let's go ahead and check the reset password here and let's minimize this let's minimize this as well and close the other apps and let's open the reset password template let's open this in our split window here and open this here okay uh, so first of all uh, we'll just uh, center over some of the component here we'll use the little push upgrade you don't need to do that you can use any framework of your own choice uh, let's make it container And let's put some margin here. Five. Okay. And uh, let's put some first line of code. Let's go ahead and refresh it in our browser. Okay. So we have our reset password component here. And let's put some uh, two controls here inside our cart. Let's take out this code and put it in our welcome.plate.php so our component is a little bit cleaner. And let's put this component inside the cart. Go ahead and refresh it. Refresh the browser. Okay, so we are in the card. We have pretty decent layout here. And then let's go ahead and add our two inputs. Okay, so we have our layout. Let's go ahead and refresh and see our layout. Okay, so the layout is fine. Let's go ahead and add properties here and bind this property to the template. Password and password confirmation, I think. And we can add uh, an error message. 
message and success message and I think uh, that's it and also we need to add uh, a method here update password and we'll use this here in the update password section okay uh, I think uh, that's it for the properties and uh, let's go ahead and bind these properties here let's go ahead and put it in the next line so it's easier for us to read do the same for here okay and uh, on submit we just want to update the password okay so and let's go ahead and check if everything is working we'll, we will just uh, render our password and confirm password here so on click uh, we can do that see if the reactiveness of the library is working okay so I think this is it. Let's go ahead and add some password here so we know. Okay, so our password is working fine. So we can dive in the password. So now uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to add the validation on the server side and we need to display the message if the password is fine. Uh, so first, actually, we will use this function updated. So this updated is fired whenever there is this uh, with any uh, property is updated. So what we want to do is whenever there is an update in the property in the library, so we want to validate this property. Okay, and let's add the rules for the validation. We can use protected rules here. And let's add some rules for the password. Required. Uh, minimum six, maximum ten, maybe for now. And it's also need to be confirmed, okay? And uh, password confirmation. And we can. We don't need to actually write anything uh, because uh, with this confirmed, actually password. Uh, this whole uh, this level will detail is looking for a password confirmation field, and it will try to match the both field. But anyway, we can just put required. So whenever when the password field will be updated by Laravel, so this will fire the update. Uh, actually, I think it's updated. So it will fire the updated, and up on the updated, it will try to validate only. So we are only validating this property, here. and uh, yeah, let's see if it works for now. Let's go ahead, and also uh, we need to add the error messages here. So I think put the error messages we'll just use the password and and error and here we can use our label maybe maybe spam help block and we'll put the text to danger okay and here we can use the message because once you use the error it should it actually extract a message from this error so we can use this message here so let's go ahead and refresh this okay and Okay, the password. Yeah, cool. So it is working very, very cool. It's working very fine. But the problem is, it is using the both uh, same message. We need to change this guy here. Password confirmation. No, I think it should work fine. Okay. So cool. So let's go ahead and add a password here. The password confirmation does not match. Let's do that. I think now it should match the update password so we'll run this validate again uh, so it will automatically pick up these rules and uh, if everything is working fine uh, so what we can do we can do a success message password is updated successfully okay and if there is a success message we can actually render our message here okay, we can put if
let's remove this guy and see if it works because we don't need to put this guy here for now let's go ahead and cool so yeah uh, so the thing is we don't need the password confirmation validation uh, so it, it will work out of the box so yeah that's it for this session and uh, actually let's put uh, an, a dismissible uh, error message a uh, dismissible actually close button here and uh, let's see if it works and uh, to get the dismissible button we can actually go to bootstrap and get this button for the alert Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to bootstrap V4. Let's go to alert. Okay. And let's search for dismissing. Okay. So to add the dismissal, we need to add this code here. Let's go into our code and we'll add this guy here. Uh, button close alert and add this one add wire click this we'll set this success message to null let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and refresh our page and see like it is working as expected okay and uh, yeah uh, password is updated successfully okay cool so the one last thing we just need to update uh, reset this form as well and we'll do that as well now and here we can call reset form and we'll just declare the reset form here it for this video in the uh, next video we'll try and uh, we'll try to build this contact form here <coughs> i will copy this html for our next video and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next video bye bye cheers